What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch bringing you an album review of an album that will be released a week from today. That is if you pre-ordered it through Amazon, you'll probably have to pick it up Tuesday if you didn't. But this is Overkill's The Electric Age, an album that I've been anticipating for a few months now. Now I've already done a review of Electric Rattlesnake and I want to address something that I found out when this album has finally leaked to YouTube and I've found Electric Rattlesnake again. Uh, it turns out when I initially did my track review of that song, the person, the way that it was uploaded before that with just that one track, it was incomplete. In fact, I've probably only heard about, well, there was an extra two minutes to that song, actually, that really nobody got to hear. So I'll be going back through and addressing that in a little bit. But track listing-wise, you have Come and Get It, Electric Rattlesnake, Wish You Were Dead, Black Days, Save Yourself, Drop the Hammer Down, 21st Century Man, Old Wounds, New Scars, All Over But the Shouting, and then to close out the album, we have the track Good Night. Now, Come and Get It opens up with a slow drum march, uh, slow drum march introduction, and then heads straight into Overkill Thrash. And immediately after hearing this track, it brought up what I thought was going to be my main concern about this album, and at first I thought this is a bad part of the album and I kind of have to knock off a little bit on the score for it, but then I realized that the backing vocals, while they don't really, they don't have any power behind these backing vocals, but with Bobby Blitz's voice, I feel that the backing vocals, because that they sound just so bland and generic, that it actually strengthens his voice. So in a sense, it's like a happy accident. Um, the backing vocals on this, on pretty much this entire album, really, they're just, they don't do anything to help the song other than to make Bobby Blitz's voice sound even better. But that's just my opinion. Um, and this is readily apparent on the opening track, Come and Get It, as, as it is backing vocal heavy. And then we get into Electric Rattlesnake, which, as I had mentioned earlier, there was an extra two minutes that I didn't hear while doing my track review. Um, and these extra two minutes, um, things actually slow down. So I'm thinking that to tease us into buying this album, they only played the mostly fast part of Electric Rattlesnake instead of the slow part because, well, Overkill over the years have stuck to their guns and being an all-out thrash band, unlike some other big-name thrash bands which have decided to slow down and to appeal to a more mainstream audience. Um, Electric Rattlesnake, to me, is still a fantastic track. I still stand by what I said in my track review, and it's one of my favorites off the album. And then we get Wish You Were Dead, which to me uh, is nothing really noteworthy. It's just an overkill thrash song. Um, nothing really much to see here. Black Days, on the other hand, is a song where they, you slow down. <laughs> overkill slows down a little bit um, to, about a, to a steady pace. And um, I really do enjoy just the feel of this track. Um, black days, white days, da 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 da. Um, so it's an okay track. Um, it's and it adds a little bit more variety to the album because let's face it, you can't have an album where you just straight up go 80 miles an hour and never slow down for something. There's got to be traffic somewhere. And then we get "Save Yourself," which is probably this my second favorite track off of this album. Um, Definitely a lot of uh, criticism on religion in this track. I really like it. Um, and then we move into Drop the Hammer Down, uh, about six and a half minutes long. And I feel Drop the Hammer Down probably should have been shortened to about four minutes. Um, it drags on a little too much. And then we get to my favorite track, 21st Century Man, which has lines talking about a man with an iPhone who's setting off explosives and everything else. Basically talking about a 21st century modern day terrorist. Uh, it's a really entertaining track and in my opinion it's the best one 
on this album. And then we move into Old Wounds, New Scars, which um, makes me wonder if the band ran into somebody who shot their mouth off at them or something like that, because, with the lines like, uh, talking about, uh, you got a big mouth for a Jersey white boy, and I'm just kind of like, somebody somewhere must have really pissed them off in New Jersey. <laughs> so, um, an entertaining track there. Uh, all over but the shouting, I feel, suffers from the same problem that Wish You Were Dead was, and the fact that there's nothing really notable about this track. It just sounds like a typical overkill track. Um, not really much variation there. And then we get into the album closer, Good Night, which opens up with a very clean intro. In fact, it's so clean that I had to double check and make sure that I was still listening to the electric age because I thought that it, something else had come on um, but then it quickly goes into an all-out thrash and that song is obviously going to be a uh, the closing song of whatever tour that they embark on it's it's just it's there and I have to tell you after listening through this entire album I really like it uh, between the two albums that I'm kind of torn about that get released the same day between Angel Witch and The Electric Age. Um, and in terms of Metal March as in general, um, I'm going to have to declare Overkill the winner unless something else magically comes out before the end of the month. Uh, Overkill wins Metal March. Now, going into the production of this album, it's a more high... It's instead of some thrash bands that are trying to go for that sort of old-school kind of shoddy production to add a little bit more cheese to their songs, which there's nothing wrong with thrash metal having some cheese in there. In fact, I think that's one of the main things that appeals to me about thrash as a genre is the amount of cheese that you'll find in some albums. Um, instead of going for that kind of production, they go with a more modern high-tech sound, and you know what? It works for them. I was entertained by this album, and other than a couple of tracks, I feel that didn't really add to the overall effect of the album, that this was a fantastic album, and I can't wait until next week when it comes to my doorstep, and I'll be like, yay, I have Overkill on disc now, pop it in the Xbox, and uh, be listening to Overkill while playing Battlefield or something. So, if I had to give a numerical grade for Overkill's The Electric Age, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Again, backing vocals sort of bother me in the fact that they I feel that they're not strong enough. That combined with two tracks that really don't do too much for the album. Other than that, great album. Pick this up when it comes out, because Overkill, <laughs> they deserve your money. So, an 8.5 out of 10 from me, Danny here from Metal Couch, signing off. <laughs>